They say beauty lies in the eye of the beholder. Whether that is art, an idea, or physical appearance, beauty can be anything that you think provides an experience of pleasure or satisfaction. In this day and age, social media is what shapes our beauty standards. Magazines say beauty is tall, slim women and muscular men. We buy makeup, fashionable clothes, shoes, bags. We dye our hair. We can do mostly whatever we want to make us look better. In the realm of beauty, the Maya had a mindset totally different from us. They took great pride in their appearance, and they linked their beauty standard with their religious belief. For the close connection with religion, the Mayans were willing to endure extreme pain to get their favorite look. Today, we're going to be looking at how beauty played a huge role in the Mayan civilization. We will look closely at the types of gods they looked up to, their deep motives for beauty, and how they shaped their head, nose, eyes, and other parts of the body. Stay tuned all the way to the end, and consider what is your favorite type of Mayan appearance. So without further ado, let's dive right in. The Maya are an ethno-linguistic group of indigenous people of Mesoamerica. The ancient Mayans lived in what is now known as Southern Mexico and Northern Central America, including Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, Yucatan Peninsula, and El Salvador. Their descendants still live there today and many of them speak the Mayan languages. Maya beauty was a critical idea in the Mayan civilization, as it was in others. The Maya, just like people today, loved personal beauty, and they were willing to spend their wealth and endure much pain to achieve the perfect look. Now that you have a simple idea of who the Maya were, let's take a look at the first beauty standard. The practice of head binding. The Maya had a god of wild vegetation, Yumkash. They worshiped this god for being the Maiz god, other known as corn god. For their deeply ingrained faith in Yumkash, they viewed their god as the beauty standard. Somehow, the god's head resembled the corn. That is, the corn became narrow toward the top, and the Maya found that long, sloping head attractive. The Mayans loved this elongated head because, in their belief, they worshiped Yumkash. A study was conducted at Cambridge University by a professor named William Duncan. The study suggested that the practice of cranial modification was part of embodiment and socialization among the Maya. Tree panning, the process to reshape the head, the parents would flatten the skull of the newly born baby. Because the skull of the baby was not as strong as that of the adult, this was an ideal time to make the forehead slope up and backward. The parents would place two boards at an angle to make an angle pressing against the forehead. The Maya also found the crossed eyes beautiful. In the Mayan religious belief, their sun lord had crossed eyes. Any born child with this physical trait would be considered to be either beautiful or handsome. The newly born children with normal eye position would endure a process of repositioning their eyes. The parents would make for their children a headband around their head. They would hang a stone along the head and between the eyes of the baby. By continuously doing this, the Mayans believed that the children's eyes would become crossed. To the Mayans, a beautiful and perfect nose was a large and hooked nose. For the artwork that was dated back to the time of Maya civilization, we can see that the Mayans preferred a large nose with a break. If the Mayans were not born with this physical trait, they would use a removable artificial nose bridge to give their nose a break shape. Pointed teeth were beautiful teeth to the Maya, and they filed theirs to sharp points often to form a certain pattern. This, according to the scholars, might be because that pointed teeth resembled the corn kernels. For the wealthy and the noble Mayans, they would drill holes and attach precious stones to their teeth. What we are about to cover next is arguably the most shocking and most unique contribution to beauty than the rest of the Mayan beauty standards we covered. Like many other societies, the Mayans loved wearing jewelry. They pierced their nose, ear, lips, they wore earrings, earbobs, and even animal teeth. 
As gold was not common in the Mayan territory, the archaeologists often found the remains of jewelry with precious stones and jades. In the Mayan civilization, tattoo was also popular, but it was a process of great pain and often caused infection. The tattoo artist would paint a design on the body of the Mayan men and women. Then they would cut into the bodies along the lines that they had already drawn. The scars after the process became the tattoo of the Mayans. Accordingly to the Mayans, their tattoos were also a symbol of bravery. It is true that what the Mayans once held as beauty were completely different from us. Every year, passing the idea of beauty evolves. Gone are the days of the great civilization, but Maya beauty standards and tales still remain. It is not the right reaction when we look at Mayan beauty and discuss them. Rather, it is a value that we should learn to understand how the ancient people once lived and treasured. One thing we can learn about the Maya beauty standards is that the ancient people were so affected by their religion. The Mayan society wanted their physical look to resemble their god, which was a way to worship their deities. All in all, I learned that everyone has their own way of defining beauty. Beauty defines who we are and how we see life. And most importantly, aesthetics helps us to be able to reflect on art, nature, and culture. Having an eye for beauty is sometimes challenging, but it will surely help you appreciate all forms of beauty. Thank you guys for listening, and thank you Dr. Cunningham for showing us what true aesthetics is. Let me know in the notes section on what your favorite part is on in the mind's appearance. Once again, thank you guys for listening, and this is Walmer, signing off.